guys it's Lucy and today's video is going to be the next episode of ham guide and this is going to be your what you're going to need for your Syrian hamster so first off what you're obviously going to need is a hamster but hamsters come in lo those different varieties colors coats and shapes and I'll be doing a further video on that in the future next is a suitable cage so this is the Alaska and um, this measures 80 by 50. I recommend the cage size is the minimum of 75 by 40 centimetres and the best is bigger the better. So for when buying a hamster you've got loads of things to consider. Do you have time, space and the ability to be able to care for one as these animals are not pocket pets as said by people. These cost a lot of money and require a lot of needs and I'll show you the basic needs of a hamster. So first off is water and water needs to be provided 24 7 freshly cleaned every day for your hamster so and a water bottle is advised but water bowls do work just make sure you clean it more often during the day because water can go bad um, in a bowl quicker so I recommend using a bottle. Next is food and food bowl so I recommend a good food mix um, so please look into food mixes and that will be in the next video on this channel. So please look out for um, the hamster's diet, so that's another thing you're going to need. Next of all is option, you can feed your hamster's treats. These are treats so you're meant to be feeding them um, not very often. And these are the pick mix, carroty bites, and I've got a few left in here. These are the hamster's favourite treat. Next is a wheel, um, please don't use um, wire wheels as wire wheels can cause bumblefoot in your hamsters and other injuries. Um, so please look into plastic wheels, this is the Trixie wheel from Zoo Plus. Um, for a Syrian hamster I recommend getting wheels 11 inch like this one or getting an 8 inch one depending on the size of your Syrian hamster but again bigger the better and make sure your hamster can run on it. Next off is chews because hamsters are rodents and their teeth constantly grow which, um, which you need stuff to gnaw on. Um, so different types of wood and material goods. We have a little watermelon chew here by Board and Breaker. We have a little sisal carrot from Wilkinson's and we also have these attachable chews to tie the cage which is Willow's favourite. Next again is option is also a hidey house because some hamsters do like to sleep in hidey houses and some like open nests. Willow is a hamster that likes open nests and houses so I provide both of those to her. Um, also provide a variety of houses so you have igloos, you have huts, cardboard boxes, everything like that from cheap to expensive anything works. Next off is um, toys so these can come from the cheap old kitchen roll or toilet roll tubes to your um, pref um, not professionally made, custom made um, tubes by pet shops. This one's from Asda and it cost me a pound so that's very good. Also bedding is to consider, you can buy anything from the range of Fitch, Carefresh, Back to Nature and shavings but please do not use aspen or cedar bedding. The nesting material, please consider using toilet roll or shop bought ones but please do not use fluffy bedding as this can get caught round limbs and get stuck in hamsters pouches and can cause choking. So yeah guys that is my video for your necessity needs of um, owning a Syrian hamster. Please follow along with the series and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye.